A governor's State of the State address gives her a chance to look ahead at what she'd like to accomplish over the next year and attempt to rally state lawmakers around those causes. It's a historic moment, too. Governor Hochul is the first woman elected governor of New York, and while she gave a State of the State address a year ago, she'd only risen to the role after her predecessor, Andrew Cuomo, resigned in disgrace. So she's now been elected in her own right. I spent the day at the state capitol in Albany today getting reaction from lawmakers and policymakers, both current and former. I'm here right now at our Albany Bureau, which is really just steps away from the building where the governor gave her hour-long address earlier this afternoon. Governor Hochul is putting an emphasis on three big issues, New York's high cost of living, lack of housing, and crime. My number one priority has always been and always will be keeping New Yorkers safe. Governor Hochul led off her list of initiatives with arguably the top concern for New Yorkers at the end of last year, high rates of crime. There has been no aspect around the discussion of public safety more controversial than bail reform. Hochul quickly doubled down on her support of the premise behind New York's bail laws to keep poor people from languishing behind bars, but acknowledged there are issues with the policies, which critics have blamed for the violence. I would say we can agree that the bail reform law as written leaves room for improvement. And as leaders, we cannot ignore that. When we hear so often from New Yorkers that their top concern is crime. Hochul also announced a massive $1 billion investment in addressing what she called the mental health crisis in an effort to reduce crime and improve public safety by increasing access to care for adults and school children. This will be the most significant change since the deinstitutionalization era of the 1970s. Hochul's number two top initiative, new action to address New York's housing crisis. Today, I'm proud to introduce the New York Housing Compact. The compact pulls together a broad menu of policy changes that will collectively achieve the ambitious goal of 800,000 new homes built over the next decade. Hochul said strict building policies in local municipalities have stunted growth and indicated investments will be greater for downstate. Every single locality across the state will have a target for building new homes. Upstate, the target is for the current housing stock to grow 1% every three years. Downstate, 3% every three years. Hochul's final remarks were met with a standing ovation as she addressed her number three top initiative, New York's high cost of living. She announced the state's minimum wage will now be tied to inflation. If cost goes up, cost go up, so will wages. She said the move would impact 900,000 minimum wage workers across New York State, mostly women. By putting more money back in their pockets, it helps our economy overall. Other highlights, Hochul also addressed a plan to create an interagency task force to address overdose deaths. She pledged to crack down on the state's heaviest polluters to address climate change and reaffirmed she will not raise income taxes in 2023.